Hello friends, my name is Gaurav Bansal and we are going to discuss a very interesting topic called Dabba Trade. Why it is in news and what is the basic idea of that kind of trading? Is it something new? Let's find out. So what is this Dabba Trade? Dabba Trade is what is it? So in this Dabba Trade, what we do is we buy stocks, commodities like gold, silver, okay? and we buy forex now for commodity and forex trade there is commodity exchange like mcx ncdex and for stock trade we have bsc nsc etc stock exchanges now in this case of dabba trade people do not actually trade on those exchanges they trade through operators and they do not even trade what they do they bet on the daily movement of the different things okay it can be stock as i said or a commodity or crude or dollar or anything so if i want to indulge in dabba trade what i'm going to do i will call up my operator and after calling up my operator i will tell buy 100 kg silver for me now for this there will not be actual silver purchase but my operator will buy 100 kg silver in name of me as if i have purchased silver let us say the price of silver is 78000 rupees per kg by the evening if the price becomes 80000 let us say and then i will sell the silver so in the day without actually buying or selling silver i have made a gain of 2000 rupees on silver per kg okay and since I purchased 100 of such kgs, I am standing to gain something like 20 lakh rupees on this trade without actually purchasing anything. So in this case, the operator, they will take money from traders if they lose. For example, I purchase silver and within the day the silver prices fall. Then I stand to lose. Then I have to give money to operator. Okay. And if the operator lose in a way the price increase, then operator has to pay to me. So that is how these markets purchase. Now this is a very simplified example. Generally, the trading is much more complex. The trading is given with a specific target. People bet that today dollar will cross this amount. Okay, If dollar will not cross that amount, then people do not get money. They lose all the money they bet for okay and similarly there are also stop losses that that is the minimum at which you sell something so there are many such things now that will make our video unnecessarily complex because this is not a video about stock trading or the trading this is a video about indian economy for students now generally when we purchase on stock market there are so many things involved okay if i have to buy 100 kg silver I need to have several crore of rupee for that. Okay, and by investing several crore of rupee, I will take a risk with that several crore of rupee. And then if there is a big movement in silver prices, then only I stand to gain something in the evening or lose something in the evening. So if I buy silver and sell silver within a day, that is also a way to make money or to have similar kind of trade. But that kind of trade require a lot of money up front but in this case since i did not have to actually purchase silver what i had to do i just had to made a phone call okay since i just had to made a phone call simply without any guarantee without any money i purchased a very expensive asset only in the books now since we can purchase it without money lot of people are interested in it because just by saying something just by betting on something they tend to gain a lot of money so it's like a lottery system okay it's like betting and in fact there is a proper term for it okay in colloquial language we call it sattebaji this is classic sattebaji okay now in this case there are several issues and we are going to discuss them now we have understood what is the but trading but why people are interested in Dabba trading? One of the reason I've told you that you do not have to invest a lot of money. Without having too much of money, you can indulge in crores of trade. 
okay and those dabba operator also do not buy stocks okay they also basically make money from their clients only if somebody lose somebody gain they look out for the net in the evening and then there are a lot of crime criminals mafia involved in this okay because it's very easy for me to being very motivated and call up somebody and say okay buy 1000 kg silver for me and if silver drops that day then i have to pay 1 crore rupees or 50 lakh rupees or whatever amount because i've purchased a lot of silver from where i will pay that money many cases people just push any amount okay and they do not have capacity to buy that much so generally operator also do not take such bids very easily they take bids in a very progressive way that eventually initially they will take 1 kg silver bid then 2 kg silver bid after a month then maybe after months of experience with a the person they might take let us say several uh, several kilograms of silver okay or several grams of gold then only they will take that much of risk because they also need to have some kind of guarantee that the person is able to pay money now risk is not only for the operator the person who is trading also has a risk because operator may also disappear if operator lose too much money to too many people operator may disappear people may disappear this is one of the big risk with the dabba trade okay now why people indulge in dabba trade one of the reason why people indulge in dabba trade is that black money they can't invest in formal markets they do not have any income source to actually show they have money but they do not have money in white to buy actual investment so they do this kind of black market tactics then they might be criminals they might be doing proper money laundering through these kind of activities that is also possible then it gives them opportunity for unrestricted buying and selling okay without actually having money up front okay so that is also a very big advantage to many people for their risk appetite some people are simply addicted to gambling okay and it gives them adrenal rush and then sometimes unfortunately that is also the case people do not have lack people do not have knowledge and awareness somebody in their family circle do the but trade and this person they tell about the but trade to this person this person doesn't know it is illegal or something this person thinks okay they are formally buying things okay like on mcx they are buying it so they are not aware that is also a reason sometimes people are caught in these kind of things and then people do it for quick profits okay so number of things are there so we have understood that there are many issues people disappear operators disappear there is a lot of money risk there then it promotes criminal activities okay lot of mafia backed activities are also promoted because of this because people have to recover their money and there are no court guarantees there are no formal guarantee or recovery mechanism so those unofficial violent methods are often used now in this dabba trade which is purely speculation okay let me give you another example in hindi those who do not understand hindi for them i have already covered an english example okay let us say i buy gold okay i ask my operator to buy 100 gram of gold for me now 100 gram of gold is worth almost like 6 lakh rupees now i said that sell it for me in the evening now in the evening let us say gold closes at 55000 okay 10 gram of gold finishes at 55000 now i purchase gold worth 6 lakh rupees in the morning but in the evening my gold is actually worth only 55 5.5 lakh rupees so i've lost 50000 rupees in the process okay to maine gold kharida 6 lakh rupees ka gold kharid liya gold actually main kharida nahi 6 lakh rupees diye nahi maine sirf kisi ko kaha diary mein likh lo maine gold kharid liya aur mera gold kharida gaya अब उस पर्सन ने एक्चुअली मेरे नाम पे छः लाख रुपए चढ़ा दिए कि इससे मुझे छः लाख रुपए चाहिए और इसके नाम पे मैंने गोल्ड खरीदा है और शाम तक मान लीजिए गोल्ड कीमत गिर जाती है साढ़े पाँच लाख का हो जाता है तो वो पर्सन मुझसे एक लाख रुपए सॉरी पचास हजार रुपये का नुकसान वसूलना चाहेगा 
तो यही डब्बा ट्रेड में होता है और अगर अगर किसी प्रकार वो छः लाख बीस हज़ार का हो जाए तो बीस हज़ार रुपये मुझे मिलेंगे तो इसमें कुछ लोग ओनर करते हैं अपने कॉन्ट्रैक्ट्स काफ़ी बड़े बड़े ग्रुप काम करते हैं ओके एंड देन देर आर ग्रुप्स विच डू नॉट ऑनर देयर कॉन्ट्रैक्ट ऑल काइंड ऑफ थिंग्स आर देयर नाउ से इज नॉट हैप्पी विद दिस बिकॉज दिस अंडरमाइज द स्टॉक मार्केट्स बिकॉज दिस क्रिएट्स ऑल काइंड ऑफ प्रॉब्लम्स ओके इट इट इज़ अ वेरी नॉट ओनली अनऑफिशियल इट्स अ वेरी अनएथिकल वे ऑफ डीलिंग इन द ट्रेड एंड सिंस लॉट ऑफ लीगल इश्यूज कैन बी देयर विद दिस काइंड ऑफ थिंग इट इज ऑलरेडी इन लीगल बट इफ यू मेक इट इल इफ यू मेक इट फॉर्मल देन ऑल्सो देर आर लॉट ऑफ इश्यूज बिकॉज यू आर नॉट एक्चुअली ट्रेडिंग यू आर जस्ट सिंपली टेकिंग समबडीज कॉल एंड बाइंग समथिंग फॉर हिम ओनली इन पेपर एंड दैट पर्सन इज देन लाइबल फॉर पेइंग यू दैट मच सो दैट इज ए प्रॉब्लम and you know something which is not a very well known secret okay uh, it's mostly the group of jewelers who do it okay jewelers gold traders silver traders jewelers are some of the biggest clients of this the patriot <coughs> they buy on actual mcx mcx is the commodity exchange where you can legally do it okay you can buy gold certificate in the morning sell gold certificate in the evening but for that you need money लेकिन यहाँ पैसा नहीं चाहिए हेयर यू डू नॉट नीड मनी सो ये डब्बा ट्रेड में होता है हम बिना पैसा लिए उसको खरीदने और बेचने का जो प्रोसेस है वो कंप्लीट कर सकते हैं और उसमें होने वाला लाभ और हानि उठा सकते हैं सो दैट इज व्हाट ल्योर्स अ लॉट ऑफ पीपल इनटू दिस डब्बा ट्रेड नाउ अर्लियर इट वॉज रिस्ट्रिक्टेड टू कमोडिटी नाउ इट इज स्प्रेडिंग टू स्टॉक्स ऑल्सो एंड दैट इज वट इज वरिंग से बी एंड दैट इज वाई रिसेंटली वी हैव हैड सो मेनी प्रॉपर रेट्स okay in the rates it was also found that uh, there were many big groups like there was a parasnath group okay they had their own api based app okay which was not officially on play store but people could download it and with that app people could simply trade okay unofficially so that was that is how sophisticated their networks became over time and as per one estimate the size of this dabba market would be about 2 lakh crore rupees worth of trade every week okay lot of people commit suicide lot of people destroy their families destroy their well established businesses because of that that is also a problem apart from all other technicalities involved we do not want people to destruct their lives in this way so for all these reasons sebi is not happy with it and it wants to restrict it so there are large scale raids there are large scale issues related to this okay now what are the features of dabba trade entirely cash transaction there is no documentation the contracts technically there is no contract it's just an oral contract oral promise and there is no regulation because of course it is not covered by any regulatory authority it is all illegal underground okay and very very highly risky so all of these are features of the dabba trade what is the impact of dabba trade impact of dabba trade is that it undermines the mcx reduces trade there and people also save lot of taxes in the process because when you actually buy stocks you have to pay stt also that also you save then you have to indulge into other long term capital gain tax etc so that is also a reason why people are interested in this apart from the reasons we discussed earlier so people are very much interested in it okay and government wants to stop it because this undermines the proper official markets so this is all about the dabba trade of course it is illegal there is a punishment up to 10 years and in 2013 cbi also made a committee on it and describe what are all the features of dabba trade and how all 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 attract punishments okay and the fine also is there up to 25 crore rupees so if you are interested in dabba trade drop those ideas this is not a good thing okay enjoy a simple hard working life that's my suggestion anyways all of your student and you are studying it for academic purpose now let us say there is a hypothetical question if we restrict dabba trade who is going to gain the stock exchanges will gain okay commodity market will gain government will gain because it will gain more taxes okay so all of these entities will gain if there is more and more restriction if you are able to control this dabba trade more 
because these people will go to formal markets then not all but some then is there any regulatory process absolutely no something which is absolutely illegal for that there cannot be any regulatory process okay and what is the unique risk in this the but trade the unique risk is that the party completely disappear this is one of the common problem you purchased a lot of gold through an operator you made money but when you ask for your payment the operator disappears stop taking your coal you leaves that office if uh, too much money is owed by that operator then they will just simply vacate that office go somewhere else so people just simply disappear that is one of the biggest unique risk that is there in dumba trade now i hope this video has simplified what is dumba trade and it will help you in your preparation thank you